What is the latest development? That both the countries agree to fast track withdrawal of this Indian military force. No, no. I think that uh, those are matters that the government has to handle. I don't think we need to make a comment. We were, as I understand it, we only had a military presence there to service the and operate the aircraft that we had provided them. If the Maldives doesn't want that, I think uh, you know no one wants to be an uninvited guest in anybody else's country. I'm sure the government. Our government will pull the people out in due time. I'm not very concerned about that. I think it's a loss for the Maldives. Uh, but if they are uh, going to uh, insist on something, I would not say that we will equally counter insist on keeping our people in another country. We don't want to go where we are not welcome, do we? <laughs> it's the same one, which is that if we are able to unite in a constructive way against the BJP in a number of seats. I am very confident we can bring them down below the majority mark because in 2019 they did so well that it will be difficult for them to match that target. Remember, in Congress got zero seats in Haryana, zero in Rajasthan, one in Madhya Pradesh, one in Bihar. Uh, we just had a, and, and only one in Karnataka. So there were a number of states where we did our worst ever performance and we are definitely going to do better this time in all those states. Similarly, if you look at uh, Himachal, uh, if you look at Madhya Pradesh, I'm confident we're going to get a few unexpected seats. Karnataka, we're going to get more than uh, a handful because we are the government and we're very popular there. I'm And Telangana, we've now come to power. There's a good groundswell of support. I'm sure we will do very much better than 2019 in a number of states. So if you put all that together and then you have in those states where the opposition vote was divided, if the opposition comes together, uh, Maharashtra is a very good place, uh, Bihar also, uh, we may well find that we can bring the BJP to a level where their continuation in government is not possible. That's the logical analysis. Ultimately, logic is not the whole answer. The people have to decide. In democracy, we leave it to the people to vote and to do what's in the best interest of the country. Sir, PM to hold his second uh, roadshow tomorrow in Kochi. Now they are concentrating on Kerala, how do you see it? Look, I mean, I, I often uh, have appreciated the fact that uh, people make a real effort to communicate uh, that every part of the country does matter. And if the Prime Minister finds it useful to spend some time in our state, all of us Malayali should welcome that. I am not sure that the Malayali voter, even those who may be enthusiastically training out to, turning out to greet their Prime Minister, will vote only on the basis of seeing a Prime Minister on the road. I mean, the road show might be a success, but that doesn't mean that everybody who waves at the Prime Minister is going to vote for him or his party. Uh, Kerala voters and educated voters, a literate voter, understands the ideologies of the various communities. They are not uh, necessarily going to be discourteous when the Prime Minister comes, but uh, the ballot is a secret ballot and I'm not expecting any surprises in favor of the BJP in this election in Kerala.